But what I want you to do, <coughs> I want you to actually begin to listen to the birds in your garden. <coughs> if you rest your ears on that soundscape in your garden, all the birds are inhabiting a slightly different frequency. And they've got a different pattern in how they call. If you're in a jungle, all the insects, all the birds, all the mammals, they'd all be chattering at the same time. Slightly different frequency, all overlapping, but all audible. If you go to the high street in Swindon, or Oxford, or any city, we're all chattering at the same time, inhabiting the same frequency, and you can't disseminate anything. So what I want you to do is actually really begin to break sound down in your garden. Now, do you want to do something? Have a wander around with that. What do you think <laughs> would make that sound? <clears throat> it might not it isn't going to be in your garden necessarily. It'll probably be in this room tonight. But what do you think would... Everything makes a different sound pattern, sound wave. That nearly, nearly. If you're a bit confused and you go, um, that's what um looks like. Um. So that's confusion. But when you're in, uh, I took uh, this recording in Oxford City Centre in uh, opposite the uh, War Memorial Gardens at Christchurch. And basically, you hit some traffic lights, you've got a bus going by with his air brakes and a dust cart going by. The traffic lights go red and this is a couple walking past and I recorded their conversation. <laughs> the lights went green again, the bus drove away and then there's these regular high-pitched peaked sounds. That's a lady walking past in stilettos. <laughs> <laughs> so even in, in, in a busy soundscape you can actually break it down. Now we come to the birds in your garden. <coughs> Anybody know what that is? Great tip. Great tip. Wonderful. Now, I was working with an Oxford University student and she said the sound waves look like fir cones. The thing is with uh, the tit family, they have regular calls but regular pauses. So when I play you this, <coughs> he has to work for his living. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> uh, right, great tip. So it's regular, there's regular gaps. Also try and uh, put memories with this. When I was a kid, my, my granddad used to have this uh, wood store with coal and at the other end of the garden he had this pile of wood that you should chainsaw up and log up. He had this massive wheelbarrow, it probably wasn't massive, I was a little kid, but <laughs> had this wheelbarrow. I, I used to load up and push it to the wood store and it used to squeak. Like a great tip. Squeaky wheelbarrow wheel. <laughs> now when the... Uh... Right, can you change the battery in that, son? <laughs> the, uh, when I said to my granddad, Granddad, my uh, wheelbarrow, the wheelbarrow has got a squeaky wheel. Why don't you oil it? There's two things I used to like doing as a kid. Collecting wood, putting it in the store falling asleep in the store and he used to say no if I actually oil that wheel I'm gonna know you're uh, working <laughs> how am I gonna know you're sleeping or not let's see if he's uh, worked magic yes power <coughs> so uh, but the, the squeaky wheelbarrow wheel great tip just try and picture what the sound looks like now I was up in Manchester doing uh, a nature uh, workshop for kids in Mossside, nine years old, and I was a bit, I was a bit scared actually, but no, they were really good kids. 
And I was absolutely amazed when I showed this picture. There was a nine-year-old who almost got it right. Anyone know what that is? You're going to have to be a good birder to know what this is. It's a warbler. It's a warbler. This nine-year-old said it was a chiff-chaff. How many nine-year-olds have heard of a chiff-chaff? In moth side. Is it a weed warbler? No. It's a wood warbler. Now, a wood warbler's call is very, very... It doesn't change. Wood warbler... Here you go. So it has got some same similar notes as a blue tit, but it just frames it different, it just produces them different, it's just got a different feel. Okay, now I was at a workshop, a talk once, and he dropped one of these on the floor and broke it. <laughs> but I've never mentioned it since. <laughs> right, so, just have a, have a listen. Confusion, see, throw it down my chest.